you for your testimony. I, I, I think part of what my colleague opposite is talking about is a double standard. And so uh, certainly if Colin Powell has emails that belong and should belong to the federal government and the people of this great country, they need to go, you need to go after them, you need to request them officially, and you need to get them. Uh, I'm, I'm with her on that. Whether it's Colin Powell or Hillary Clinton, they do not belong to those individuals. They belong to the American people. But let's talk about a double standard. Because the very email that my colleague opposite just put up actually is an email that she obtained from the State Department in the last couple of days. Isn't that correct, Ambassador Kennedy? We received a request from the ranking member signed by uh, seven members, right? Seven, the seven member rule, yes, yeah. sir. So, so let me ask you how this happens, because the double standard that I'm seeing here is an incredibly quick response by the State Department when it is responded to the ranking member in defense of this particular hearing, and a slow walk when it comes from the chairman. And let me, let me give you some examples, because in January of this year, the chairman requested information as it related to Hillary Clinton's FOIA request and so forth, and it took 40 days to get a performance evaluation on Ms. Lang. That was the only response in 40 days. All right. D do you find that troubling, Ambassador Kennedy? No. Oh, well, you don't find that troubling? No, sir. If I, if I could. No, no. Just that, that's good enough. You've responded, okay. so you don't find it troubling. So let me, let me ask the ranking member, Mr. Cummings, asked for information on Condoleezza Rice and Colin Powell on February the 4th. You got a full response to him in less than 30 days. Isn't that correct? The difference is you asked for I, one. I didn't ask for the you difference. Asked for one, did you you did, asked for one document. All right, it's well, very we'll go easy there. to find one document. All right, but produced 186,000 documents. Fair, fair enough, submitted. Ambassador Kennedy. So let's go to the specifics. On September 2nd, you get a letter from the ranking member asking for Colin Powell's emails between he and Hillary Clinton. I mean, be between Hillary Clinton and Colin Powell, the seven, supposedly seven member requests on September the 2nd, and five days later, he gets the emails. Do you find that extraordinarily fast in that there was a FOIA request for that same information that's been outstanding since 2014? So the public asked for it in 2014. The ranking member asked for it five days ago, and you got it to him before this hearing. Do you not see a double standard there? I see two things, Mr. Congressman. One is we in we did this is part of the material we just received from the FBI. So we did not have it until until so the last month. The FOIA request you sent this information to the person who requests the FOIA as well. That FOIA, I don't. I would have to find out. All right, where because here's the interesting other aspect. You made a caution, and I quote: "The department has concerns about the public release of these documents. FOIA markings and redactions reflect the fact that the documents are currently being processed for FOIA, and have undergone uh, uh, have undergone an initial review. However, the preparation of these documents for the public release has not yet been completed. But yet they released them." Do you not see a problem with that? Mr. Meadows, we try to the best of our ability to respond to committees of Congress. I, that, I, is, I, that, I, that, is a, that is a priority. The, there, but it is with unbelievable open. speed when it fits the narrative that you want to do. So here's my request of you, Ambassador. I've got two. The chairman asked for a very simple request that's been outstanding from the AP about a calendar. It shouldn't be a hard request. It's not 137,000 pages. Can you respond in the same length of time that you responded to the ranking member in five days? The answer that, to that, uh, sir, is whether or not there is any information that we have to call out on those calendars. You've been looking at it since 2010 for the no. AP. I would think that eventually you'd be able to do it five days. Sir, 
All right, here's the last one because I'm running out of time. Two years ago, I asked you a question in foreign affairs under sworn testimony. Was it you or Hillary Rodham Clinton who decided to not publish the bonuses for State Department? Because it has to be one or the other, either you or Hillary Rodham Clinton. Two years later, I'm still waiting for a response. I want a direct response. Was it your decision to make sure that bonuses are not public and not transparent, or was it hers? I'll yield back. We'd like you to answer the question. Sorry, the time. The answer is, sir, that I, I do not recall the, the question from you, and therefore I humbly apologize. I will get you an answer. My general recollection is there was a decision made government-wide not to publish documents. That not to publish bonuses. Mr. But Chair I will, Mr. Chairman, I will uh, that. For, to clarify, there is only one of two people who could have made that decision, either you or Hillary Rodham Clinton. Who was it? That's what I want to know. It's, it definitely wasn't Secretary Clinton. That kind of, that kind of decision Wait a did not go up to didn't. her. So you said you don't know, but yet you know it wasn't her. That's yes, interesting. Because, because I would never send an issue of that nature to the Secretary of State because the Secretary of State, no matter whether it's George Schultz, Colin Powell, or Hillary Rodham Clinton, or John Kerry, does not need to deal with an issue of that stature. All right, thank you. Well, now we're